Hey guys, it's Odd. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my makeup routine. It's pretty simple. Um, it takes me like 10, 15 minutes in the morning, so it's pretty fast, and I think it normally looks pretty good. So I'm just going to be showing you that this is not at all a makeup tutorial, um, because I'm not good at makeup, but it's just my makeup routine in case you're wondering what I use. So I already washed my face this morning, obviously, um, put toner on and then put moisturizer on, so I have a good base down and I'm all ready to go. I don't use primer. Um... I feel like it just makes my makeup like slide off my face when I wear it and my face is pretty oily I guess it's gotten better but it's still I feel like if I put anything down before I put my foundation on or my concealer or whatever it just like melts off so with all that being said I'm just gonna go ahead and start so the first thing I do is just take my favorite concealer ever it's by L'Oreal Paris it's true match and I just put it all over my face concentrating under my eyes but I definitely put it everywhere. There's really no rhyme or reason to where I put it, just all over. This is the brush I normally blend with. It's really soft, but it's also pretty dense, so I feel like it helps slide things around really well and blend it out. I don't, I need to watch some videos on this, but I don't know how you keep from getting makeup on your nose ring and also getting it all blended. Maybe people take it out when they do their makeup and put it back in, but that's like a lot of work and also a lot of pain, so I'm not about to do that every time I wear makeup. So I'll probably just clean that off with a Q-tip when I'm done. That's what I normally do. So the next thing I do is normally my eyes, and I've just been using this ColourPop palette. Um, it's the Disney Princess collection, and I love it. Kelly got it for me for my birthday, and it's the only eyeshadow I've used since I got it last November. Oops. Normally I just use the same colors. As you can see which ones are worn down but normally I use this um, like this shade grumpy as like my kind of starting color and I just put that everywhere and I always just use this blur this brush that Kelly also got me it's also from color pop color pop it's the, from the my little pony collection um, but it's a really nice brush it works really well okay so then I go in with this um, shade that's just slightly darker it's um this one here is called Triton. I also love this palette because all the names are named after Disney things and I think that's so cute. Like there's one called Chip and I think that's so cute. Fairy Godmother, Poison Apple. Like I just love it. It just makes me feel like a princess when I put it on. And like it has all the princesses signatures. I just think it's really cute. So this is the palette I'm using. Just dropped all my makeup. It's fine. And then um, I think you're kind of supposed to leave that there, like that little bit that comes off on the side, but I do not like the way that looks on me. So I normally just wipe that off. And then from there, sometimes I do stuff a little bit different. I either use um, Beast, which is like this dark brown kind of glittery shade, or I'll use Magic Carpet. Or sometimes if I'm feeling like really, you know, like I want to be glammed up, I'll use the Enchanted Rose. But today, I think I'm just going to use the magic carpet. That's what I've been doing lately, so that's just what I'm going to do today. And it literally just takes, like, that much. It's so pigmented. And I just put it, like, right on the outer corners of my eye, of my eyes, <laughs> just to give, like, a little bit of depth, I guess. I don't really know. I always, my whole life, I've either worn blue eyeshadow, which, like, who didn't wear blue eyeshadow when they were first wearing makeup? But, um... I've always just worn like brown warm tone colors, so that's just what I'm sticking with. That's probably the extent of what I'm going to do on my eyes. I might add a little bit of um, the Beast color, which is this dark, darker brown color with a little bit of glitter, and just kind of lay it over top, just because I kind of want my eyes to be the focus of my look. That's normally what I do. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'm done with that. And then I don't normally do this step every day, but Kelly and I are going to film a video after this. We're gonna be outside and it's a little hot. So I'm just going to put a, like a light layer of um, my Mary Kay powder foundation on top, just to kind of hold my foundation concealer 
mumbo jumbo all in the face I've basically done the same makeup routine. Well, I normally do my makeup the same way every day when I wear makeup. I don't wear makeup every day. Most days, um, well, lately actually, when I'm just like running out the door, I'll put on um, eyeshadow normally, a little bit of concealer under my eyes, and then I'll just do some blush um, on my cheeks and a little on the tip of my nose. And that is about all I do. But when I want to be a little bit more like covered, glam, if I'm going to film with Kelly, this is normally the look that I do. And then next I'm going to go in with my blush, my Mary Kay blush. I love this stuff. It is in the color Pama. No. Uh, it's called the Shy Blush. It's their mineral cheek color. And I just love the way this looks. I'm so sad I dropped it. Because, like, why wouldn't I have? My brush. I dropped it a while ago. And, like, a big chunk of it fell out. So that's kind of sad. But... I love this stuff. So I'm just taking another brush from the ColourPop My Little Pony collection and I just put this on the apples of my cheeks and kind of drag it up a little bit. Same thing on the other side. And I just love the way this looks. Like I feel like it just makes me look like just a little rosy. And then I um, watched a princess makeup tutorial where she said she put blush on her nose and it just kind of made her like look rosy and um just like magical so I also have been doing that I don't know if it's really making a difference but I think it looks cute so after that I just pop on a little highlighter because that is my favorite stuff where did I put it oh there it is um I'm just using this palette I got um a long time ago at Target but I love it as you can see it's like really gross and almost out and I just um usually take one of these three shades Today I'm going to use the one that's just a little bit more, it's called Beaming. There's Glowing, Radiant, and Beaming, and I'm using Beaming. I don't know if you, I don't know how to tell the difference. They all pretty much look the same once they're on my face, but this one's just a little bit more, a little darker, I guess. So I'll put this in the corners of my eyes for a little bit of glow, and then um, under the brow bone. I put just the tiniest bit on my nose because that's what I say and then I always go overboard and then lately I've been taking just a little bit and putting it like right here just with the same little brush on top of my blush just to give me a little bit more glow but nothing crazy and then after um, all that I curl my eyelashes I've always curled my eyelashes and I know some people like never do I don't really know if it makes a difference, but I always curl them. Just because I always wear mascara, I never leave the house without mascara on. Even if I have nothing else on my face, I feel like mascara just kind of gives me that extra little like, just a little something to make it look like I didn't just like roll out of bed. Okay, now that my eyelashes are curled, I'm just going to take my Mary Kay mascara. Um, I need to get some more, but this stuff's really nice and what I like about it is it stays on pretty well but it also comes off easily with like um, eye makeup remover and I really like that about it because some of the other mascara I was using before this this isn't waterproof but it stays on like waterproof mascara but the other mascara I was using before was waterproof and it stays on really good but like you could take a shower you could wear it the next day you could take another shower and then put eye makeup remover on and like you'd still have to like scrub and scrub and scrub to get it off. And I felt like it was like damaging my eyelashes, so I don't do that anymore. But I love this Mary Kay mascara and if you are looking for some, I know someone, my Mary Kay consultant Kansas. She's actually Kelly's little sister and she is an amazing Mary Kay consultant. So if you want to try out this mascara, um, you can leave a comment or um, DM me on like Instagram and I would be happy to like hook you up with her because she's great. The other thing I really like about this mascara is I feel like my eye like with other mascaras like one eye looks really good one side the eyelashes look really good and the other side looks like whatever but I feel like with this um, mascara both sides like look the same and I love that. So that is what my eyes look like after mascara. And then my last step, this is such an easy makeup routine, is just um, setting spray is what this is called. I'm almost out, but I love this one mainly just because it has a little shaker ball in it and it makes me feel fancy. Um, but this is just the Hard Candy Glow 
sheer envy is what it's called and I'm gonna see if I can get any out because it's literally almost out so and then if I'm feeling real saucy I'll put on a little lip gloss but normally I don't so so yeah this is my final makeup look I think it looks really pretty and cute it's really simple but I also feel like it helps me look like you know a little done up so yeah and um, yeah that's basically all I do I've done the same makeup routine for a really long time and um, I just thought I would show you guys what I do. Uh, no one was asking, no one wanted to know, but <laughs> this, this is it. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos coming soon. When um, Kelly posts solo vids, they come out on Monday. When I post solo vids, they come out on Wednesdays. And then every Saturday we post a video together. So definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those videos. If you wanna follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I'll have my handles on the screen. Um, and they'll also be in the description. Thanks for watching my odd way of life, and don't forget to follow your happy. Bye!